Here we presents the top 5 best strollers. Starting at number 5, Up Pavity 2018-19 model. Navigating through life with multiple kids is no easy feat, so give yourself every advantage possible, and at least make navigating the sidewalk, hardware store, or museum that much easier with an Up Pavity Vista stroller. This thing was designed with multiple kids in mind, and with the right attachments, it can handle three children at once, two in seats, and one perched on an added kickboard. This is a full-size stroller, and with two seats in place, it weighs upwards of 50 pounds, so it's likely too heavy, if you live on a third-floor walk-up, or you have any strength issues. But that weight translates to a smooth, steady ride and a capability to support kids well into preschool age. This stroller could last your family through several kids, so you get more than your money's worth. Which is good, because it's the most expensive strollers on the list. Some users complain about the stroller's weight, and its lack of a good handle for carrying it, when it's not in use. Don't overlook how frustrating it can be, to handle a heavy stroller as you try to get it in the trunk, into the house, or checked with an airline. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Up Pavabi Minu Stroller. Up Pavabi Minu basically replaces the bulky umbrella stroller Up Pavabi G Lux. You can't beat their customer service, if something breaks, and their free repair service in the US and UK. The fold is super easy, basically, it folds the same way as Cybex EZS Twist, but it can also stand on its own. Some people complain that, when the folding button is in the middle it's harder to push the buggy with one hand, but I've never had issues with it in any of my strollers. The hoods in all Up Pavabi products are the best of the best. There's no denying that. Same with baskets as you can really stuff it in. I'd actually say, that Minu can definitely be used a main stroller as well, not just a bigger travel stroller. As it might be too big for many parents, to travel with all the time, if you have no space in the apartment you can just get Minu instead of a giant Vista or Cruise. Halfway of my listed number 3. Mountain Buggy Nano Stroller. Mountain Buggy Nano is a great stroller and I came close to keeping it for myself. But, the lack of one hand fold wasn't for me and my solo travels with a baby. The wheels work fine, unless you keep using them a lot. While it hasn't happened to anyone I know, many parents complained of their wheels breaking, and the lack of possibility of expedited shipping, even with an extra charge. This isn't like Up Pavabi service that will send you new parts of stroller overnight. Speaking of younger babies, before getting a stroller I didn't think that peekaboo window is important, but now I can honestly say, that it's a very practical feature, that this stroller is lacking especially since the seat can't be twisted to parent-facing mode. What I didn't like about this stroller, especially with a small baby, was that unless the seat is fully raised, it will not close right. When folded the canopy falls out of the fold easily, unless you remember to velcro clip the jogging strap to keep it closed. Plus, when you push the stroller with the canopy unfolded it covers the handlebar. It's super annoying. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, Coming in at number 2. GB Pocket Plus All-Terrain. If your kid likes the stroller, but only sometimes GB Pocket should probably be your top choice. It's so small, and light that it can be carried like a purse, or even inside it as you need an extra strap to carry it around. Naturally, it fits as a carry-on on airplanes, or should I even say it'll fit under the seat as well. While small, folding and unfolding takes a few steps, and getting used to. It's not a 5-second unfolding system like with Cybex, Mountain Buggy, City Mini, or Yo-Yo. The wheels work fine, but not as great as Yo-Yo or Cybex's. Pocket will go through cobblestones, but not as smoothly as you might want it to go. Also, make sure you lock it correct while the company claims it's possible to push the stroller with one hand, I'm yet to see anyone doing it. If you ask me, it's not really comfortable. Unfortunately, you pay for the compactness of Pocket with many cons. The sunshade is practically useless, or designed to basically attach a separate one to it, and there's no storage, as the basket underneath can hold nothing. And number 1. Baby Zen YOYO2. For a long time there was no competition for Baby Zen Yoyo, and this stroller used to be number 1 on the market. I believe it still is. As it's on the more expensive side, I tried to avoid getting it as I thought I can easily get away with another travel stroller, just to realize I needed a Yoyo after all. I tested it when traveling in Italy, Greece, Poland, Malta and the USA. Its wheels, while small, 
are surprisingly good, and there's no need to even lift the stroller over the curb or cobblestones. I've also driven through mud and gravel without any issues. Many people complain, would be the fact that the seat recline degree isn't flat, but it's just the same exactly with up Pababi Minu that doesn't receive any complaints. The recline is more than sufficient. Also, the brake is slightly annoying, especially when it comes to unlocking it. If you want Yoyo to be suitable from birth you will have to get a newborn pack which is expensive. I didn't get it, as my 3-month-old refused to be in anything bassinet-like. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.